Black We're about to get the dog. Which one is she? Right there. Oh, right there. Says. Yeah, right here. Dog world. Hello. There she is. Now to figure out how to get her home. You guys got everything you need? Yeah. Okay. Is the dog gonna sit in the front or the back? Uh, I think, I don't know. If the dog's super nice, it can sit up here with you guys. In the back with you guys or in the front seat with me. If not, if we, we can put it in the kennel on the back of the truck. We've arrived. You get down to the uh, bottom of the wet part, yeah. just kick it four wheel. Okay. Just roll. All right. Apparently it's wet down there. We made it, no problem. First up, we're gonna get the heifers. All right. dinner in a couple of months. Is the dog gonna need to ride in the crate? Or can he ride in the truck with them? Oh, he can ride in the truck. She, he. Which one is it? Yeah, she. <laughs> it's a she. Yeah. Okay, she. She, she's friendly enough to oh, sit yeah. back there with the kids. Yeah. He said he can ride with y'all. Yay! <laughs> well, is it a girl or a right boy? There. You can share your meat stick with him. He'll like it. Oh, it's a sheep. So this is her first time owning a guard dog. What do we need to know? She needs love, just like <laughs> us. Um, but if you keep her with the sheep, um, she will guard them as their own. What do you think, Lily? They're cool. They are. One's black and Is that her? Ours? That's Maggie. Winnie is over to the left. <laughs> the one on the left is ours. Yeah. Got them temporarily with the Cooney Cooney. They look like four-legged Ewoks. I'd say you love these guys, huh? <laughs> I'd say they love you. Oh! It's a hard moment for you, Hunter? Yeah, it is. Part of the family, man. That's Miss Winnie. What kind of dog is she? She's a purebred Great Pyrenees. Oh, okay, she is a Great Pyrenees. Yeah. So what do you feed her? I feed her a raw diet. I feed her any type of raw pork bones, any type of beef bones, chicken bones. I got uh, that. Any kind of dead chicken carcasses. As um, bonus, and then you feed her your stock correct. dog food? Yep. Okay. She don't want to go. Sad. Yeah. She's behind the stairs. Oh. Well, I can let you have, I'll let you have a moment. Just bring her whenever you're ready. The doggy is so sweet. I know. Try this. Well, here. Should they set it on the cut on the? Or can they do it too by hand? Yeah. Slow, slow. She's probably gonna be too nervous to eat, huh? She might. She might. She's nervous. Set it down and see what happens. There she goes. Now don't go grabbing it. Let her have it. There you go. She's. It's gonna take some time for her to trust you. How's she doing back there? Good. All right. Hunter was telling us, you know, it's not like we want to cuddle her all day. We want it, We want this special blend of nice and kind to us, but also her home is with the sheep. She comfortable? Yeah. She's super nice. Yes, she is. Even though she's nervous, I don't think I she had a hint of, of aggression. Well, hey there. <laughs> what are you doing? You getting to know everybody? You know, I'm being very careful around this guard dog. I respect them as working animals. I spoke earlier about not wanting to coddle them too much so that they don't do their job as a sheep dog, so that they stay attached to the sheep. I've learned a lot of this from Greg Judy. Great guy, coach, mentor of mine, friend. Some people thought the dog that we showed where Rebecca where it, it bit at Rebecca was his. That was actually not his. Greg Judy in all his years and hundreds of guard dogs has never had one 
bite at a at a human. So as much as he doesn't like coddle them, he pets them, as much as he doesn't coddle them, they also aren't aggressive to humans. So I did want to share that. I don't want to, I don't want anybody to be confused. And for that matter, the one that we did approach, you know, it's just Rebecca and I. There was some signs going into that we should have observed and respected and we didn't and she got snapped at i think if the dog wanted to bite her it would have if you're wondering why i'm just being so careful it's probably that i mean i just want to be really careful respectful of this dog and her job and her situation you know being nervous just being respectful of that welcome you coming up here <laughs> help make yourself at home Throw up. We're gonna pull over. I almost puked. Maybe, oh. Maybe that's it. It'd probably help if you'd sit straight forward. It's too late. And we're only two miles from home. Now she's getting her tail in it. She likes her head out the window. That's helping. I raised it up so she won't jump out. I don't know how she'll react with Teddy. Oh, don't let Teddy out. Well, she doesn't seem like she's gonna kill him. We need Teddy on a leash. We need the dog on a leash. How'd they do? They did good. Did they throw up? No. Nope. Yeah. Good girl. What do you think, Mr. Henry? You won't know nothing but this dog. Hot. Now, Josiah's going to be buddies with this dog, I think. Oh, look, she's piling up with you, Josiah. <laughs> That's how it goes, isn't it, back? Everybody likes Josiah. We're gonna introduce her to the sheep. Let's see her reaction to little dude. I think she's gonna feel more at home when she gets yes. to the sheep. Yes, she will. Because that's what she's used I to. I feel like she's pulling. We're heading the there. Sheep. Yeah, we're heading there. You hear him? Does that seem familiar? She's not a family dog, so she's not gonna be used to a leash. I just don't want her to get gone. She does not know this is home yet. So she would be gone. Come, come, come. We did get her in here, just taking our time. Good girl, come on, come on. Good girl, good girl. She's very thirsty. I think it's good that she's gotten water. She knows there's water here. It's kind of becoming a home base. We are gonna unleash her. Definitely gonna keep her in here with the sheep at least for three days before we even let them out into the paddock. She matched, she blends right in with the sheep. I know she does. That predator's not gonna know what's coming, is I'm it? I'm hoping that. <laughs> I'm a little concerned because she was, uh, you know, removed from her yeah. litter mate. And she was with all four so of them. So she may be whiny tonight. She's gonna be looking for them. Stuff. Sad. I'm sad about that. Are you sad about that because our bedroom's right there, or are you sad about that for her? Both. <laughs> Both. I sleep with white noise, so it won't bother me, really. I hope. I wish she'd eat that. I have some raw dog food. I think anything we can do to, like, yes, if she, we can get her to eat anything, she's obviously getting water. So she's associating well, us with she home. May just I mean, you know when your car sick. Oh, it's you're terrible. And all this is new. If a dog feels half of what we feel. Look who's already out. Well, she came to the porch. Well, I'm gonna give her one just so she knows this is home. I just laid out some raw dog feed. Okay, well, shoot. Come on, Winnie, come on, come on, come on, Winnie. Probably not the best thing to give her a hot dog on the porch, like reward her for going to the porch, but I'm glad she didn't run away. Winnie, Winnie, come on, come on, come on, good girl. Can you guys post out here and be with her for an hour? Yes. We kind of just got to break her in just for a little while. Until she gets used to it. Yeah. Okay, will you mind sitting out here with her for an hour? I guess I can. Lily, will you make a pack of hot dogs? Josiah came up and she got up. Oh, hey, still in the paddock. This is good, he's barking at the biker. So he's doing his job already. So she got out of the dog pen, but not the fence. Don't throw me that, I guess. I'm liking you already. Yeah. 
She's already barking at the bikers. I like it. Yeah, but she gets out. <laughs> we'll know if somebody comes up too. I think we can leave it like this, Josiah, and see if she stays in here for right now. Oh. Yes, I like it. Woo! Woo! I like it. Now that we have the troughs in place, we'll put hay in it in a second. Let's get all the sheep and the calf in here. Okay, Winnie, you and the sheep have a shelter. Sheep are gonna have feed. You've got water. Let's see if this she'll stay in this, Josiah. Actually, let's go get her some raw dog food. You thought I forgot the heifers, didn't you? No, I didn't forget the heifers. Let's do this now. I'm super happy about the day. Fulfilling day on the farm. Let's hope for the best for that dog tonight. Still, we've got this problem. Ugh, I've got a hyperbaric appointment this afternoon. Hey, you guys remember our farm sitter? Yeah, Luke also happens to be a detailer. I said, you available for a last minute deal? I had a dog throw up in a car. He's up for it. Since my brother was so generous to let me borrow this, Let's just get the whole truck cleaned up. That's before and after. You guys gotta see this. Look at this, oh my word. I wish you guys could smell it. it. Smells so fresh in here. Look, absolutely no throw up, none. Oh my gosh, this is like a new truck. And how appropriate, you know, Pop's late truck. Pop, if you're watching this, this is for you, buddy. Hope you like it. Hope it looks good for you.